We got Lucas on the line here as Lucas. Great to have you back on A's cast live. I wish I could be with you there, uh, but I got to be in San Francisco in the uh, NBC studios for a little TV today, but we were just, we were just talking about you with Scott Emerson and, you know, I, I find it interesting because we, we mentioned Shohei Otani, mentioned Trevor Hoffman. You know, the fact that you hit at such a high level at AAA, now that you're pitching, how much does learning to pitch now at this level, but also you hit at a high level, does that help you kind of, you know what the hitters are thinking because that was you not that long ago. How right. much did that play to, as a strength for you? Uh, you know, it's funny that I was – Probably about two and a half minutes ago, I was talking with uh, Carlos Perez of just exactly about that, um, kind of realizing that hitting is such a difficult thing to do. And um, me just being in AAA and, and you know hitting in AAA, I found out real quick how how difficult it is to you know kind of work at bats and and be successful. So I you know I kind of take that approach into your uh, onto the mound and kind of realize you know hey I, I I have good enough stuff to obviously you know pitch in the big leagues, but I also realize and I understand how hard hitting really is, especially you know going through your slumps and your and your you know difficult times. So I think taking that approach onto the mound and, and kind of using it to my advantage has uh, really helped me be successful. You know, because years ago, and, and, I, and I agreed with it, you know, you look fastball and adjust, but velocity has jumped so high today. If you're not looking for 100 miles an hour, there's no way you're going to get I me. Mean, if you're actually guessing on, on an off-speed pitch and 100 comes at you, the, the human brain can't tell your hands and your body to act fast enough. I mean, how much did you guess as a hitter back in the day? And how <laughs> much – are you on the mound now going, I can tell these guys are guessing. Yeah, hundred percent. And, and especially nowadays, you know, I don't think there's many fastballs that are, that are quote unquote straight. I think everything has, you know, some sort of play involved. And even if, you know, if it's not a carry fastball, it's a, it's a absolute bowling ball that you're going to have to try and hit. Um, so I think, uh, you know, uh, if you're going up there guessing it, you're, you're making yourself a little bit, you know, you're giving yourself a, a harder opportunity to be successful. I think you, you definitely have a have have to have a disciplined approach at the plate and and kind of you know pick your poison um, depending on the count depending on the situation everything you know kind of plays a role in that and um, you know like I said if you're going up there trying to guess or trying to just react to you know trying to catch up to a fastball and 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 reacting to the off speed stuff um, which is what I tried doing and I didn't have a lot of success at it I mean it, it I'm telling you right now that it's uh, harder than it seems you had really good success. Come on. You, 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 I saw your triple A numbers. They weren't that bad, but, yeah. but yeah, that just shows you how good you have to be to get to this level. Your change up to me is such a weapon. And I've noticed your ability to throw up for strikes whenever you want, and you can take it out of the strike zone. You're throwing 92, 91 with it. You can take it out of the strike zone for a strikeout pitch, but you can throw it for strikes. When did you, because it's such a field pitch, because you're throwing it with the same arm speed as a fastball, but for like me, I had the circle change. Everybody has different variations of it. When did you start to have that confidence with this pitch that you could throw it at any time? Yeah, I, I think I've always had confidence uh, with the changeup. I don't know where, where I learned it. I don't know when I learned it, but I've always it always felt like a comfortable pitch for me to throw. Um, I also, you know, I, I I throw hard, and and for for that to be my my go to secondary pitch um, has played, I think, the biggest biggest role in my success. Just because I'm I'm not doing anything different. I'm just holding the baseball a little different, but throwing it the same way, um, and it's um, it's been working. So I, I mean, not I've tweaked it here and there, trying to maybe get some. Uh, you know, a little bit of different spin out right, right out of the hand so that it can, um, you know, spin a little bit more efficiently uh, going towards home. But for the most part, it's just uh, it's always been a comfort pitch for me and, and being able to locate it where I want to is uh, has definitely helped. Is it ever a point where you don't want to show it too? It's so good. But is there ever a point where you don't want to show it too much? Yeah. Yeah. No, you, you definitely want to. Uh, you know, have a have an even mix between you know I've I two different fastballs, um, a changeup and a slider. So um, you know, just working with the staff here, I've been trying to you know kind of just sequence my pitches evenly and and kind of 
distribute the the different looks that the hitter is going to see so that he you know that I'm I'm keeping him on his toes keeping him guessing right which is you know what we yeah. want what what we want as as pitchers we want to um, make the make the hitters uncomfortable and and kind of put them in a in a tough spot to uh, have success we've done already you're an unbelievable story you're a bay area kid we've done that before but now just from a baseball standpoint of who you are as a professional as a baseball player where you are now what has really changed for you? Uh, I mean, honestly, not much. I, I just I try and go out there every day and just, you know, try and be the best teammate I can be and, and you know, help support my teammates and go out and have fun. I mean, I think I think in the process, in the daily life of, of you know, being a baseball player, I think we we might take for granted that, you know, we're sharing the same field that Mark McGuire played on, like that Eric Chavez played on that. You know, we're playing the Yankees right now. We have one of, you know, Hall of Fame closer in, in Mariano Rivera. Like guys that, you know, you watched growing up, you now get to share the field with. And, and I think that's the most special thing about this game. And, and it's something that I that I take very, very uh, appreciatively for sure. I think about the bullpen and I think about the confidence. We're watching you guys on the mound get more confident. The number says it. Do you do you guys? Is there a sense of confidence that the bullpen is getting better? Tell us how you guys are feeling down there in the pen. Yeah, yeah, and a lot of it is coming with uh, you know just getting to know each other and and you know kind of like gaining that camaraderie and and that and uh, you know sharing that success. It's not just you know about you know one guy doing well. We want every single person to do well because it's like a you know it's it, it's a it's a team. You know what I mean? It's just, you can't win by yourself. Um, you know, I think we have to do a lot of things right consecutively as a team in order to, you know, have success. And, and we've been doing a great job of that um, in the last couple of weeks. And, and we're excited to keep moving forward with it. Like we're all starting to gel together very well. So it's a uh, it's a fun it's a really fun team. It's a young team. It's it's, uh, you know, like the shirt I'm wearing, we're kind of viewed as the underdogs. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, and, you know, we're just going out there working hard and having fun. So that's all it's about. Who would you say is the leader down there? Uh, I, you know, there's there's a couple of them for sure. I mean, uh, Sammy Mole and, and Trevor May have definitely, uh, you know, um, had have their their success in the past, and and they're having success as of lately. And and uh, you know, I think their number one priority is to is to help us understand the way that the bullpen works, that the way that you know a game might play out, kind of figuring out when to warm up, when to kind of. Um, like get yourself mentally ready to go out there and make sure that you're physically ready once your name is called. So they've been doing a really good job. And, and, you know, a lot of the other guys like Austin Pruitt and, and Fuji, um, you know, just really holding down, you know, that, uh, that loose, that loose vibe that, that, you know, you want um, in a team and, and especially in the bullpen. Um, but yeah, no, it's a, it's a really good group down there. And, and me personally, I'm, I'm having the time of my life with them and, and uh, yeah, they're all they're all awesome. Yeah, you're living a dream. It doesn't get any better than this. Are you available for tonight? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. I mean, I, I felt good during catch play. It's just uh, you know, like I said, it de- depends on the uh, the the the, the game's going to dictate you know who who goes where and and you know who plays the matchup. So you know, you want to be. I think my the best ability that you can have in this game is availability and, you know, doing all the right things on the field and off the field to make sure you're recovering well and, and taking care of your body um, plays a big role in that. And, you know, that's something I take very seriously. So um, yeah, like I said, uh, if, if I'm available, you know, I'm, I'm good to go, then, you know, I'm, I'm ready for the call whenever that is. Well, it's been fun to watch and you're doing an outstanding job. Thank you so much for taking the time before the game. We appreciate it. And uh, we will talk soon, but p- keep putting up those zeros, my man. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.